Bat Cave. I'm Hello. your host, Chris, the board game Black Belt, and this is Emma, who's new to the board game Bat Cave, and she is the board game Bat Girl. And Hello. today we're going to talk about the differences and the similarities between Love Letter and Lost Legacy. Lost Legacy Starship. Uh, both games are from Old Rock Entertainment, and both games are from Seiji Kanai, and uh, we're going to talk about a little bit about what we like about them. So I'll start it off with components. The components to me are pretty much the same. I mean, they're made by the same company. The only difference would be in love letter, you get these cubes, these wooden cubes to represent your love letters. They're kind of like your score. And then uh, they don't, you don't get those in Lost Legacy. And then um, the artwork is a little bit different. Um, but overall, I gave them about the same rating because I didn't think the artwork was a big enough difference to pull me away. And plus, I do like the cubes for Love Letter. So they kind of evened out, and I would give both of them an 8. I gave an 8 for Love Letter and an 8 for Lost Legacy for compatibility. I mean, for uh, components. But I gave a little bit of a different answer. Mm -hmm. I gave Love Letter an 8 and Lost Legacy a 9 because I like Lost Legacy because the artwork's different and I like how they put red in the sky for it's evil and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty so. good. Yeah, you said you liked the uh, fact there were more scenery cards. See, more scenery than there are people in the Lost Legacy. So I just like how they they did put people, but not too much. They remembered that they had to put backgrounds, and I just like how they did the backgrounds. I think that's a good observation. I do kind of prefer the artwork for Lost Legacy. I think the, uh, I, but I think that the artwork that went with the love letter kind of fits with that old style painting of you know royalty kind of thing, and so. I think it was good. I just do. I think she's correct on the fact that the, the, uh, they're more colorful cards and they're more, the artwork is a little bit better. So I gave them both an eight and you gave. I gave um, Love Letter an eight and Lost Legacy nine. Okay. All right. Next, we're going to talk about theme. of love letter is that you're a courtier, uh, a member of the court, trying to pass a letter to the princess. And you do so by basically the lower uh, or the higher the number, the closer you are to the princess. And so the winner of each round in the very fast round gets a cube and the, the, the one with the most cubes at the end of the game wins. And in Lost Legacy, the theme is more about trying to find a lost spaceship. That's the Lost Legacy. Um, I gave Love Letter a 7 and Lost Legacy an 8 because I thought Lost Legacy was a little bit of a better, you know, theme. game. The theme. theme was a little better? Yeah. Because you try and look for the, the actual Lost Legacy picture. And so, whoever wants to get it, whoever guesses that someone has this card, and they do, and they're the first one that asks them, and that's the only card they have in their hand, then that person would win, just like that. So, is the, the Starship Space theme you like better than the Princess theme? Okay, so what was your score again? It was 7 against 8. 7 Love Letter, 8 False Legacy. Okay, that's where we differed because I actually thought the theme of uh, Love Letter was an 8 and Lost Legacy was a 7. And that's not because I actually prefer a princess theme over a starship theme. It's just that I thought the theme fit a little bit better. It was a little easier to understand what you were doing with the theme. Whereas I thought the Lost Legacy theme could have been anything, spaceships or whatever. And so I just gave it a little bit of an edge. But they were both very good you know, obviously very good themes. And I understand the original packaging in Japan, the uh, Lost Legacy came with 
uh, two games in one, and so I kind of feel like we got ripped off a little bit with only getting one game. But either way, let's talk about replayability. <laughs> So replayability we measure by how much after we finish playing the game do we immediately want to play it again. I ranked replayability as a 10 for both games because just as a byproduct of being a micro, uh, micro game, like these are marketed as, they're very fast games. You can be done with a, a round in 30 seconds to a minute. And uh, so you really want to play it again because you feel like I can do better, I can do better, I can beat this person. And so the replayability is through the roof, not to mention it's very quick and uh, quick and easy. The same for both, so I gave them both a 10. I gave mine both a 10 too, because I thought they were both very quick and easy and very fun to play. I wanted, As soon as I got done playing Los Lacey and Love Letters, I said, can we play them again tomorrow? Can we play them again tonight? Or I asked if we could play them again tomorrow mm -hmm. or something. And so we had to play them again tomorrow. I would force yeah, you would keep hounding us until we played it again, wouldn't you? I would say, now can we? Now can we? Now can we? And tell you would say yes. That's right. Okay, so we both agreed on that part and we gave it each a 10. Now for gameplay, gameplay we determine by the mechanics and how difficult they are to learn maybe how um, quickly they are to master. And so uh, I also gave both of them a gameplay of a 10 because I, I thought they were very simple to learn and we had them, uh, as an adult, you could learn them immediately within a few instructions and you could go. She'll give you what she thinks about them. Well, I thought Lost Legacy was a 10 and Love Lizards was a 9 because I kind of like this, how you play it how you, there's spaceships and... You told me that uh, you thought it was a little easier to learn by reading the cards on yes. Lost Legacy. Yeah, because I learned it in like the first round. After the first round, I asked to play it again. And after Love Letters, it took me like a f two or three times to get used to it and feel comfortable in it. I think that may be partly because in Love Letter there are more types, I think, of cards. Whereas in Lost Legacy, a lot more are duplicates. So it's it's easier to learn the different types of cards quicker on Lost Legacy. Whereas it may take you a few more games to see all the cards in Love Letter and learn what they do. And they give you one of these little list of cards, reference yeah, things it's here. In instructions. So kind you of like so you can read along, but you know, that just slows you down. So. Um, I said both of them were a 10, and you said Lost Legacy was a 10. 10, and Love Letters was a 9. Okay, so... Um, let's give our final thoughts on these games. On uh, Overall, I, I gave the favor to Love Letter, but it was mostly just because of the theme. I thought it fit a little bit better and made more sense. They're very similar games, and they're, very, they're both very easy to understand, of course, because they're from the same company and the same uh, mind. But uh, either one of them you can't go wrong with. Uh, if I had to choose, I think uh, for a first-time game for someone, I would probably pick Love Letter. But Lost Legacy would be right behind it. Well, I pretty much think that this one's a little better and a little more easier and quick to play because I would want to do this one again. I would just ask to play that one, you know, tomorrow. But I would force them to say yes. I would just keep asking until it would, that yes would spit out of their mouth. <laughs> All right, so if you had to tell somebody which one to pick and they only had enough money to buy one, which one would you say? I would say 
Lost Legacy because it's a little more simple to play and the level editor is a little more complicating because okay. there's more words. So tell them how old you are. I'm six and about to be seven in two weeks and um, a half. And so the the games recommend for Lost Legacy that it's for 10 and up and uh, obviously that's a loose estimate because Emma picked it up pretty quick probably within the first round or two we played she had it down even strategy she was uh on board with yeah. and uh i think and i might be wrong about this and i'll correct it in the comments but uh i think love letter is an eight and up game but yeah, again sure she's had no problem whatsoever with even the higher points of strategy and figuring out how to eliminate people so there you have it um you know depending on who you want to who you, who, who you think you could favor by their arguments. I kind of favor Love Letter, and Emma kind of favors Lost Legacy. But I think we both enjoy both games. And if you stick around for our next video, we'll probably show you how to play it, because we're going to go head-to-head on some of these games and show you how to play. Bye.